What should I do now? If only Sino was still around. Uh, excuse us. Has something happened? Oh, I appreciate the concern, but who are you? Ah, friends of Sino! Well, I suppose it's not a secret or anything. Since you two are interested, I'll just lay it out for you. My name is Nabil. I'm a Matra in the Academia. A case involving the smuggling of canned knowledge has come to our attention recently, but unfortunately, we don't have the people to handle it at the moment. Huh? You mean the Academia is short on Matra right now? Well, not exactly. I suppose the main problem is that the case suddenly came up after General Mahamatra Sino left to go somewhere. It would be a real headache for us to tackle the case ourselves. Given the large scope of the issue, we talked things over internally and decided that we should find further assistance from outside the Matra. If you two have some time, would you lend us your strength? Hmm. All right. Since you asked so nicely, we'll help. Yes. Large amounts of canned knowledge from unknown origins have been appearing on the market recently. We suspect there's a secret route being used to move the capsules. According to some research, using large amounts of canned knowledge could lead to some serious consequences. And, unfortunately, most people have yet to realize that. Rumors also have it that some particularly dangerous canned knowledge has made its way into the market. Regardless of whether the rumors are true or not, this case calls for urgent action. According to our current leads, it's highly likely that there are dealers selling canned knowledge outside the city, even as we speak. If you two could, please help us investigate the area. You can count on us! Let's go! Ah, it's you two. I knew I sensed a familiar presence. I'm currently in the middle of an investigation here. We'll have to chat some other time. There's been a recent case of canned knowledge smuggling. It seems that the smugglers are following an elaborate and dangerous scheme. I just happened to acquire some intel which led me here. Hey, what do you know? We're also here to investigate that! I see. Well, the situation might be more problematic than you anticipated. I've already questioned several people, but gained very little information. Long story short, I was able to learn of the secret location where the canned knowledge is being sold. You're welcome to accompany me if you're interested. Whoa, that sounds pretty complicated. But having Sino around will definitely make things easier. All right, let's go round up those bad guys! Is this all you got? Hmm... Seems even less than last time. What difference does it make? If you see something you like, buy it. If not, then keep walking. They've been cracking down on us lately, so we don't have much on hand. If you see something that catches your eye, then now's your chance. There's no telling when we'll have more. <sighs> What does the Academia think they're doing? All right, I'll take these here. Let me see what else you have. I don't see any real gems in this batch. It's all pretty ordinary stuff. Whatever, how much do I owe you? 150k. Show us the Mora, and you'll get the goods. Put the Mora down and your hands up. Huh, it's Sino! <sighs> When's he ever gonna let up? Hey, forget the goods! Let's split! But don't forget the Mora! Dun dun! Not so fast! You can't escape with Paimon on the case! What is this? He's got backup now? Doesn't everyone say Sino works alone? Ugh, I don't like the looks of this. Either way, it's gonna be a tough fight. Any ideas? It's over. It's not like we're making a big cut anyway. I'm not losing my life here. Huh? 
Did they really just give up like that? Just like the others I've caught. They're not deep in the circle, just dealers at the bottom of the chain. All right. I have one question and one question only. Where did you get this canned knowledge? Uh, well, uh, the pickup location is different every time. The boss tells us where it's gonna be and that's it. We don't get a say in it. He sends someone every five days to bring us the goods. And when is the next batch coming? I... I don't know. He's telling the truth. Honest. Normally, we should have received a shipment three days ago, but we didn't get anything. The stock we have right now is from eight days ago, which is why there isn't much left. I know exactly why they didn't receive their last batch. Three days ago is exactly when I started my investigation. I suspect who's ever running this whole thing knew that I was coming. So they cut all contact with these dealers. When you were trying to escape, you said something about me working alone. Where did you hear that from? Are you kidding? We've known your name since day one in this business. The boss warned us to watch out and even gave us info about you. But here we are. I guess we never stood a chance. <laughs> they already knew all about me and were trying to avoid being detected from the very beginning. These small fries are the only ones they leave out in the open. And no matter how many we catch, it won't further our investigation. If only we had another lead. Like a merchant who sells large amounts of canned knowledge. Hmm. Do you have a potential suspect? You'd better bring them to me for judgment. Uh, whoa! Judgment? That's right. I won't turn a blind eye on any dangerous suspect. Oh! Uh, sounds like we shouldn't ever let Sino meet Dory. I see. Anyway. I'll think of a way to deal with these two, and then continue gathering information. If you manage to learn anything, you can find me a Caravan Rebot. And as for you, I don't ever want to catch you buying canned knowledge again. If you possess any unused knowledge capsules, then you should submit them to the authorities immediately. Okay, okay, I got it. Just keep your nose out of my business. Hey! With the attitude, mister. What, you got a problem with that too? Listen, buying canned knowledge is a deal between two people. The buyer and the seller. We don't need people like you button in on our business here. Think about it. If the academia is hoarding something as convenient and useful like canned knowledge, then they must have been planning only to use it for themselves. Am I right? The Academia has clearly published the potential dangers of canned knowledge. I don't like having to repeat things. And besides, I'm sure you wouldn't listen anyway. I just hope you understand that your actions are what fuels the smuggling of canned knowledge. If I ever catch you again, I will personally see to it that you are punished. All right, Traveler. I need to go now. You... you think you can scare me? <sighs> Traveler, why don't we go talk to Dory? She's got loads of connections and might be able to tell us something about all this. Mm, if Paimon remembers correctly, she's usually at the Palace of Alcazar's Array. Let's go! I see, I see. So that's the latest scoop. <laughs> Good thing you didn't rat me out. Otherwise, who knows where I'd have to be hiding to avoid attention. No idea. Sorry. I've already cashed out of the canned knowledge business. Huh? You mean you stopped selling it? That's right. With so much canned knowledge flooding the market, it was becoming impossible to fetch decent prices anymore. 
Besides, it seems that group of smugglers has practically taken over the market. It's a little rule of mine to never fight for a share of someone else's market. If I'm gonna make Mora, it's gonna be the lion's share. Plus, with regulations getting as tight as they are now, I figured I might as well just hang it up. Aw, sounds like we came all this way for nothing! Well, not completely. Granted, I don't know who's behind all the smuggling activity, but since you didn't sell me out, I'll let you in on what I do know. After all, those smugglers have really crossed the line, butting their way into the market like that. I hope their luck runs out soon so that I can take over. <clears throat> I mean, so that the industry can become more fairly regulated. Hey, you just want to make more business for yourself. <laughs> Don't underestimate its value. Think about it. You can gain all sorts of knowledge while bypassing the troublesome process of studying. Naturally, that makes it a product worth a high price. Of course, not everyone needs that kind of knowledge, but in a market as big as Sumeru, there is plenty of demand. Plus, the cost of production is relatively low, so even if dealers have to cover transportation costs, there's still an enormous profit to be made. Then why does the Academia prohibit selling canned knowledge? <laughs> Being able to gain complex knowledge and become a scholar with the snap of your fingers does sound like a dream, doesn't it? But everything in the world comes at a price, right? Gaining knowledge is a complicated process. It requires learning, thinking, and practice. Even when it comes to my own business, I have to go through a lot of preparation before I put anything out for sale. But with can knowledge, one may simply skip all the hassle and get whatever they need to know immediately. That inherently leads to at least two potential problems. First, you'll accept the knowledge as factual without a second thought, and you'll find it very hard to forget. This means that if the knowledge is flawed, then it'll be very difficult to correct. And second, excess use of knowledge capsules over an extended time diminishes your ability to think. You'll end up becoming like a library that can only store knowledge. Oh, that does sound pretty dangerous. Traveler, you used canned knowledge before. Did you feel any negative effects? Of course, using it sparingly is not an issue, which is exactly why I used to sell it. It's just like how medicine can be used to cure diseases, but can also do harm when overused. It all comes down to balancing the right amount. <clears throat> anyway, back to the point. There'll be consequences if the sale of canned knowledge by those smugglers is left unchecked. And what's worse, you're playing right into their hands by focusing only on the canned knowledge that's made its way into the market. As far as I know, their real purpose is to distribute information about the Court of Desolation. That's where the real business opportunity is. The Court of Desolation? What's that? Rumor has it that it's a site of ruins from the Age of the Scarlet King. It's said that with the treasures inside, one can see beyond life and death. But any research of the ruins is strictly banned by the Academia. Word on the street is that there'll be an auction taking place in the desert. They're auctioning rare can knowledge, some of which is related to the Court of Desolation. Once I heard about the auction, I began to suspect that all the can knowledge popping up on the market is just a diversion. I'd wager that their real target is the Court of Desolation. Because studying those ruins is not just a simple matter. It requires knowledge spanning several fields. So, if they're aiming to quickly assemble a research team, can knowledge would be the best solution. As for the auction, chances are they're trying to attract and scout out anyone with interest or expertise on the subject. On the other hand, no one can say for sure that they will ever succeed in finding the Court of Desolation. So, they might as well just make a fortune while they're at it, by hyping up the related canned knowledge at the auction. Hmm. Sounds to Paimon like we better head to the desert and see the auction. Who knows, we might find some leads there. That's right. And now 
now that I've shared all that valuable info with you, it's time to introduce our limited edition desert travel kit. It comes complete with a map straight to the auction location. As I said, I also have to make preparations before I sell things, right? Now, let me consider how much I should sell this for. I've got it! 500,000 more per kit! That's quite the bargain. We'll even offer a 50% discount for Little Paimon's travel kit. Only 250,000 mora. What? That's super expensive! No need to worry, little one. Sino's the one heading this investigation, isn't he? I'll be sure to bill all the expenses to him. All you'll need to do is tell him to go to the Merchant's Guild and pay the bill once the mission is completed. Just, uh... Be sure to not send him directly here, though, okay? That would leave me completely in the open. I'm sure the former General Mahamatra of the Academia would never leave any debt unpaid. Oh, the Mora. I can see it already. Loads of shiny Mora coming Dory's way. Uh, we'd better get going. If Dory keeps at it, we'll be out of Mora. Sino! We got news for you. What the smugglers are really after is a chance to research the Court of Desolation. They are hosting an auction in the desert to sell canned knowledge about those ruins. The Court of Desolation. I won't ask how you came by this intel, but is it reliable? We also heard that the Court of Desolation contains treasures from the time of the Scarlet King. Is that true? Partially. It was a secret place built by a dark sect from the age of the Scarlet King. The ruins do contain treasures, but the place is also rife with unknown dangers. According to past research, one must forfeit their life as the price of entering. They are not some ordinary ruins, so the Academia has strictly prohibited any related research. However, if they are using the Kant knowledge as a way to move information and recruit researchers, then I suppose your conclusion does hold some validity. Less in recent years, but there are always those who attempt to do so, both inside and outside the Academia. After all, legends claim that whoever obtains the treasures inside can see beyond life and death, or even resurrect the dead. Death is often the greatest grievance for many people. Though they're fully aware that the chance of these rumors being true are slim, they hold tight to such fantasies, and pursue them regardless. That's why some continue to research it, regardless of it being a restricted subject. On top of that, it's hard to track the source of information contained in canned knowledge. Do you know where the auction is taking place? Good. We'll go investigate. But before that, we'll have to get rid of these people tailing us. Tailing us? That's right. Let's begin to leave town and see what happens. I'm sure they'll reveal themselves as soon as we make a move. Don't worry. I'll make short work of them. That's Sino for you. But we can lend a hand too, you know. Hold it right there. Heading to the desert, are we? I would think twice if I were you. You. That doesn't matter. All you need to know is that someone wishes to inform you that it's not too late to turn back. Ah, uh, you must be Sinu. I've heard a lot about you. You've got quite a reputation. But this time you're in over your head. Unless you turn around right now, I'm afraid that even you won't return unscathed. And as for you two... Why bother sticking your noses in trouble that doesn't even concern you, hmm? That's right! We won't just sit back and do nothing! Ha! <laughs> Have you really thought it through? You're not just doing this for recognition, are you, Sino? My employer said that he's willing to compromise as long as you just walk away. 
He could, for example, reduce the amount of canned knowledge on the market. I'm sure that would help your investigation appear to be successful enough. On top of that, he's willing to give you a cut of the profit. So you see, you get both Mora and a boost to your reputation. I can't think of a reason why you would pass that up. Is that so? Well, I can't think of a reason why I'd accept. I've heard enough. Get out of my way. Sorry, no can do. We're getting paid to ensure you disappear. Since you won't turn back willingly, then we're gonna have to make you go back. Ugh! This doesn't change anything! You're in over your head, Sino! There will be others coming for you! You'll regret it! Let's get out of here! No need. Even if we apprehend them, there'll be little information to gain. Besides, it might also be a trap. I apologize for bringing you into this dangerous mess. Just being associated with me will inevitably cause you to become targets as well. You should be careful from now on. Sleep with one eye open. Wait, hold on! There's no way anyone could sleep without closing their eyes! Uh, right? You'd be surprised. Anyway, just be careful. Mercenaries are never quick to forget. In their line of work, even a single failure is bad for reputation. They may even stay hidden in some dark corner for a very long time. Waiting for the right moment to ambush you. They'll do anything to keep their prestige intact. Yes. I remember it like it was yesterday. I was carrying out a mission with one of my superiors. I didn't have much experience at the time. And I let my guard down after we had closed the case. We ended up being attacked by the remainder of the mercenaries. My superior was injured while protecting me. And we struggled to gain control of the situation. <sighs> I've become more vigilant ever since. Staying alert, even while I sleep. Ooh, who could have seen that coming? Was he okay? He survived with a fractured wrist. It took two months for him to recover. But luckily, there weren't any further complications. Last year, he transferred to an administrative role for personal reasons, and no longer participates in live missions. His name is Taj Radkani. A very well-respected mantra. You'll have the chance to meet him someday. Anyway, our mission will be dangerous. I'm already used to such grueling conditions, but I don't want to see you two get hurt. Don't worry, I'm almost stay alert. We'll see danger coming a mile away! Good. Don't worry. It won't be long till we're at the bottom of this. And once this is all over, I'll sweep away any other hidden dangers. So... Hike... If only there was some shape for us to cool off under... We still have a long way to go, so you'll need to hang in there for a while longer. This is not a good place to rest, anyway. Uh, okay. But don't you feel hot too, Sino? Of course. But I'm accustomed to these conditions. Care to share any tips? Paimon's about to melt away. Just try to stay focused. Use your willpower to support your mind. The moment you start to give in is when you'll feel more tired. Take one step after another. Don't let your mind perceive your body's limitations. We must get somewhere safe before we can relax. Uh, okay, if you say so. But where would be a more safe place to rest? Paimon thinks this is a perfectly safe place to stop. Just look around, it's just sand and desert. There aren't any monsters for miles around. Oh, 
Where did these scorpions come from? Watch out. Something's not right about them. Whew. Well, Paimon really didn't expect to see those here. Those weren't just normal scorpions. See? There are marked numbers on their pincers. They were raised by someone. Someone doesn't want us to show up at the auction. These scorpions were sent to keep us away. We are surrounded by desert as far as the eye can see. If we were killed out here, nobody would ever know. This place is super dangerous. Good thing we didn't let our guard down. Something's not right. There are no roads in the desert, so how could they know where we are? Stay still. Here's the answer. It must have planted this on you. Huh? What is it? A miniature tracking device made by the Kasharwar. They can use this to discern your approximate location. But this device wasn't licensed for mass production. <laughs> Where did they get it? Could someone from the Kasharwar also be involved? Hmm. <laughs> But that doesn't seem right. Whoa! Paimon never knew that kind of thing even existed! Why would it be on her? They probably planted it on the Traveler during our fight with the mercenaries earlier. It was a frantic fight. It's only natural you didn't notice the device. <sighs> well, good thing you were able to find it, Sino. Now let's get rid of it. Hmm. No. Hold on to it for now. It might still be useful for us. Let's keep heading to the auction. It would be dangerous to linger here any longer. Weird. Is this where the auction is? Yeah. Not a single soul. Maybe they're on break right now or something. They didn't waste any time getting here after we defeated those mercenaries. They shouldn't have been able to give any warning of our arrival. But even so, they still knew we were coming. Someone here must have been watching the tracker and warned everyone to clear out. Aw, what should we do now? We searched the area. They couldn't have moved all the knowledge capsules so quickly. There might still be something left for us to find. All right, let's take a good look around the area. Did you find anything? No, nothing in particular. It's possible there weren't many knowledge capsules containing info about the Court of Desolation, so they carried those off. But don't worry. I have another idea. You two start heading back the way we came. I will remain hidden here. Come back and meet me here after some time has passed. I'm sure something will come up by then. They packed up in a hurry and didn't have time to carry off all their goods. They won't just leave them here. Once they think we've left the premises, they'll be back to pick up their belongings. We just need to make sure the tracker goes far enough from here to make them assume that it's safe to come back. Oh, Paimon gets it. We'll lure them out because they'll think we've left. Okay, we'll start heading away and leave this place to you. Yes, and don't worry. If they dare to return, I'll make sure they stay. Far enough now, right? Further? But Paimon can't go another step. How about we rest here for a while? Hmm. It's probably about time for us to head back to the auction. Let's go. Maybe Sino's finally found some leads. Oh, looks like Sino caught someone! So you're the bad!
bad guy behind all this, aren't ya? All right, tip time on everything you know. I didn't act immediately when he showed up. Rather, I lay low and observed for a while instead. He is not the primary instigator, but he is most likely one of the more important dealers here. Am I right? Yes, impressive. You certainly live up to your reputation, Sino. If I had any idea you were still around, I wouldn't have gotten so greedy. Huh? Greedy? What do you mean by that? Once everyone knew you were coming, all the canned knowledge dealers abandoned their goods and fled at once. Obviously, there wasn't time to pack up everything. Since all the goods were just left here unsupervised, I thought I'd use the opportunity to come back and take what I could. You know, free merchandise is good business, but... <sighs> I suppose there's no use explaining it now. You must know who's manufacturing and selling the canned knowledge, correct? Will you tell us willingly, or do I need to make you talk? No, no, I'll talk. But before that, perhaps we can take the conversation elsewhere? If we stay here, chances are that someone will see me with you. That would put both me and my family in danger. All right. Where do you suggest we go? How about my home in Aru Village? It should be safe there. Fine. Let's head out. You can throw away the tracker now, Traveler. Listen, buddy, you better not try to trick us! Come on now. Do you really think I'd try to pull anything under Sino's watch? Seriously, what can I even do? Dad, you're back! Oh, we have guests? Uh, hi there. This is my daughter, Seeming. She can be a little shy of strangers. Why don't you run along now, dear? Dad needs to talk with our guests. Oh, okay. Everyone knows Sino in our business, but let me ask, who are you two? Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! To be honest, I really didn't expect to see Sino, the lone operator, working with any partners. When I saw the tracker start moving away, I assumed you had decided to just go back empty-handed. But even though you caught me, I'd still urge you to stop while you still can. You should abandon this investigation. Why is that? Everything, from the manufacturing of canned knowledge, to the sales and even splitting the profits, Every step of the process involves dozens, if not hundreds of people. Massive profits have brought everyone together in this business. Everyone will try their best to defend this industry that we've worked to build. It will be a long and difficult fight, even for you, Sino. And even if you manage to win in the end, no one will thank you. If anything, you yourself might even feel remorse. Why are you so bent on putting us out of business? Everyone has their own reasons for what they do. I don't have to explain mine. <sighs> Here's some tea, Dad. And for the guests, too. Uh, right. I forgot to offer tea to our guests. <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. And, uh, I should tell you that our tea tastes kind of bitter, but I put some sugar in to make it a little tastier. That's my girl. Do we still have any sugar left? If not, I'll buy some more next time. Yes, we do. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go have a rest now. Didn't you say that everyone's in it for the massive profits? That sure doesn't seem to be the case for you. <clears throat> Actually, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I... was hoping to ask you for a favor. My daughter was born with a chronic disease, so she has a relatively weak heart and lungs. Even slightly strenuous exercise can cause her to faint and prove to be a life-threatening risk. 
That's why she never really had any friends to play with, and why she locks herself up in her room most of the time. She has to take lots of medicine, and it doesn't come cheap. As for me, I was just an average merchant. I would wake up early and travel all around to make a profit. But the Mora was still nowhere near enough. I could only watch my daughter's health deteriorate day by day. Until one day, someone reached out and showed me a way to really make a profit. Selling canned knowledge. That's right. With all the Mora I made, I could finally afford medical treatment for my daughter. Nothing made me happier than seeing her get better. There are many others like me. Smuggling canned knowledge might seem like an unforgivable crime to you, but to us, it's a means of survival. I wanted to tell you all this so that maybe you could understand and change your mind. Please, stay out of this, Sino. Give us a way to survive. Oh no. That means that if we prevent the sale of canned knowledge, his daughter will... <laughs> I must get to the truth. I can find someone to help treat your child, but I cannot turn a blind eye to the smuggling. These are two completely different issues. <sighs> I somehow knew you would say that, but having your word to help my daughter is enough for me. Since you insist on continuing the investigation, you should have a look around the back of my home. You'll find some goods I received just recently. I think everything will become clear to you once you see them. Whoa! Look at all of this! Yes. All neatly packed away and organized in boxes. To think that this is only one dealer's worth. Small producers could impossibly support such a large quantity of goods. Hmm. Could the Academia have a hand in this? But such a volume of goods wouldn't be able to slip through inspection. Huh? Look! These seem different from the other knowledge capsules we've seen. Maybe they contain knowledge about the Court of Desolation! Yes, that would make sense. Wait, what's this? Yes, it's a Matra seal, indicating that the goods have passed Matra inspection. I started to suspect that someone in the Academia might be involved when I found the tracker earlier. But how they could ship so much canned knowledge out of the Academia was still a mystery. The pieces have now all fallen into place. With this Matra seal, goods can leave the Academia without undergoing a second inspection. <laughs> No wonder they don't want me to investigate. It turns out that a mantra is behind this. Even I find it hard to believe. Could I ask you for a favor, Traveler? Since all this canned knowledge came from the Academia, then it's highly likely that the knowledge regarding the Court of Desolation originated from research files stored within the Academia. If we can enter the repository, we can find out who accessed these files. But... Considering my current status, if I suddenly show up at the Academia now, it will only draw unnecessary attention. You'll need to be the one who checks the records. I'll write a letter to Nabil, and he'll take you there. Sure thing! Leave it to us! I'll also keep working here in the meantime. Although our leads are all currently pointing to someone within the Academia, it's obvious that they also have power outside of it. We can get more information on other dealers from Bahari. I'll stay here and make some preparations. You can come find me any time if you uncover more info. Hello, we meet again. How's the investigation going? Oh, so you were able to find Sino after all. I hope he's doing all right. I read the letter, and must admit that I hadn't expected things to be so serious. Sorry, 
Had I known it would be so dangerous, I never would have gotten you two involved. It's alright. We wanted to help Sino too. <laughs> I can tell that he really trusts you. The research files stored away in the restricted repository are far from ordinary. Everything there is essentially about dangerous research that's forbidden by the Academia. Even I don't usually have authorization to enter. But with this letter from Sino, it shouldn't be a problem. That's right. Granted, the Academia is very supportive when it comes to research. They encourage scholars to conduct all kinds of studies. However, some forms of research have proven to be so dangerous that the Matra have to step in and put a stop to them. Normally, after some particular research becomes prohibited, the majority of the related files will be destroyed. But some information may be retained as a record to warn later researchers. Such information is kept in the restricted repository, which is heavily guarded. Follow me. I'll show you. Hopefully, we'll find the answers that Sino is looking for. The restricted repository? Uh, sounds kind of dangerous. We'd better keep an eye out. Okay, I understand. Since Sino is vouching for you, I suppose we can trust you. You may browse the information regarding the Court of Desolation. Ask me if you have any questions. But I'd suggest avoiding any other research files. Sometimes the less you know, the better. This is the restricted repository. I never thought I'd see the inside of it. This is a first for both you and me. There are many who do not openly converse with others within the academia. But even so, there are very few who I feel could be trusted with a real secret. Sino happens to be one of them. Even though he's no longer in the academia, I still trust him. And that goes for anyone he trusts as well. The files are over there. Just make it quick. Whoa! There's a lot to read here! Have you found anything yet? of Sino's former partner. His former partner? That would be Taj Radkani. But you're not far off. Mortada Radkani was Taj's only son. What? Taj's son went to prison for researching the Court of Desolation? Why do you sound so surprised? You're a Matra, aren't you? It's just that... They arrested him in secret, so it was never publicly known. All I knew was that Taj's son was taken to prison. It's not just me. I, I bet even Sino didn't know about it. No. Unfortunately, there isn't. He took his own life not long after he went to prison. You've heard about Taj, right? I know Nabil has. Every Matra knows him. I would say he's probably pushing 50 this year which makes him one of the most experienced Matra. He is a man of integrity and honesty, and has made countless achievements. His reputation goes back a long way now. He used to be Sino's only partner. Taj is also skilled with a polearm, so the two of them used to practice together when they weren't out on a mission. Ah, right. I heard Sino mention that before. But one day, Taj suddenly decided to retire from active duty and transfer to an administrative position. I wonder if it had anything to do with the Mortada incident. Taj was already very well known by the time Mortada was born. So when Mortada came to study at the Academia, everyone had high expectations of him. He had to face a lot of pressure. Then he had an unpleasant dispute with his father, but they were eventually able to work things out. Not long after they had reconciled, Mortada was caught studying the Court of Desolation, which is in violation of Academia rules. Taj arrested his son, and put him behind bars. 
He begged for leniency, but Taj wouldn't agree. Shortly after, Mortada slit his own throat with the pieces of a broken bowl. By the time Taj arrived at the scene, it was already too late. He never had a last chance to see his son. Since then, Taj has been periodically coming to the repository. He'll hold the files from his son's research with a remorseful look on his face. I guess that's why he chose to move to administrative work. I had no idea that happened. That must be really hard for Taj. I've never heard him mention that to anyone. Oh, that's awful. Paimon feels terrible now. Are you okay, Traveler? Wait, don't tell me you're starting to suspect Taj now. Impossible. Taj would never do that. I mean, yes, he does have a big reputation and has access to such research, but this is Taj we're talking about. He would never do anything against regulations. Never. But if you claim that the canned knowledge was originating from the academia, then Taj is indeed a suspect. Because he was the only one who could have recently gone through research files about the Court of Desolation. There are so many files about those ruins that it would be difficult to restart any research, since the seven original researchers were put behind bars. It's hard enough just trying to make sense of these files. However, if the files were made into canned knowledge, they could be understood immediately. By doing so, one could restart the research outside the academia without anyone ever noticing. But even so... According to the legends, the treasures inside the Court of Desolation could allow someone to see beyond life and death. Or even bring the dead back to life, right? So maybe Taj is trying to bring Mortada back. Though I don't really believe Taj would ever try to do something like that. I'm just telling you what I know. It's the job of the Matra to find the truth and track down criminals. Do you have any questions? If not, it'd be best if you would leave now. Uh, Paimon's kind of confused. What should we do from here? Oh, now that I think about it, Sino suspected that the canned knowledge was coming from within the academia, right? There's no way so many boxes could ever get through without drawing any attention. Maybe we could try asking people around the gate of the academia and see what we can find. Don't worry, Tosh. I won't let your reputation be tarnished. Alrighty then, let's go ask around. Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the academia recently? Huh, well, yes, but... Isn't that pretty normal? The Academia consumes so many resources each day, everything from cooking ingredients, raw materials, even equipment for experiments. It's normal for goods to be coming in and out. Right, but we're looking for shipments with a Matra seal. Have you seen any like that? That I'm not too sure of. I normally wouldn't notice whether the goods have any seals or not. Maybe you should ask someone else. Excuse me, have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? No, not that I'm aware of. Perhaps you could ask someone else? Excuse me. Have you seen any large shipments of goods leaving the Academia recently? Huh? Why do you ask? I'm just checking to ensure nothing unusual has happened. Well, I can't say it's unusual, but I did notice something. There's a Kashar Rar researcher who's been making frequent shipments recently. A dozen of large boxes each time, if not more. When I asked him about it, he said they just contained a bunch of old worn-out machines. The Kashar Rawar used to often sell scrap machines to traveling merchants, so I didn't really think anything of it. But he's been making a lot of shipments lately. There weren't ever so many outdated machines before. And you didn't find that suspicious? Why didn't you report it for inspection? Well, the boxes were stamped with a Matra seal. Why should I bother? Hmm, of course, I did start to wonder about the seal once thinking that maybe they forged it or something. But you know what happened? 
A man named Taj came here and told me that he'd already inspected the goods personally and ordered me to leave the researcher alone. I couldn't question his word, could I? Possible. There must be some sort of mistake. There's no way Taj would ever... No, I won't believe it. Taj is an honorable man. Someone must be trying to frame him. Wait, I know another Matra who works with Taj. I can ask him to let us speak with Taj. <sighs> As I've already told you, I don't have any way to contact Taj. A few Aramites showed up looking for Taj yesterday, and he met with them in his office. I was standing outside of the door, and I vaguely heard them say, found it. Before I realized it, the door opened, and Taj left with the group of them. I noticed that he had also changed into Aramite attire. But Taj didn't come to work today, so I've also started to feel a little concerned about the whole thing. If you'd like to speak with him, uh, maybe you can try visiting his home. He lives just on the outskirts of Sumeru City. A group of Aramites? Could Taj really be the one making all the canned knowledge? No way. Taj is just like Sino. They're considered heroes among the Matra. There is no way that he would... Fine. Looks like there's no other choice. Hey, don't let it get to you just yet. We'll get to the bottom of this once and for all. So, this is Taj's place. Hmm. There doesn't seem to be anyone here. Well, what should we do then? Do we break in? No, no. Wait, the door's unlocked. Did, did Taj leave in a hurry? Well, anyway, we're still not sure if he's the real culprit. Probably not a good idea to go in without permission. <sighs> You're right. Even if we apply for a warrant now, we won't be able to do anything until tomorrow at the earliest. This is an emergency. I just hope Taj doesn't mind. What's this? It's a paper full of names written on it. Oh, and a map! Uh, Nabil, can you make any sense of this? Uh, yes. This is definitely Taj's handwriting. These papers look like records. These are the transactions between Taj and some other people. From the look of the numbers, the scale of this smuggling case is absolutely massive. The whole operation involves more than 300 people, including dozens of celebrities. These are famous scholars, merchants, mercenaries. I have a feeling that Sino might be unaware of what he's up against. There's no way anyone could face such a large organization on their own. You're right, that's just who he is. As for the map, it appears to indicate the location of the Court of Desolation. Let's take it to Sino and let him decide how to proceed. If Taj really has turned on his honor and committed these terrible acts, then I suspect that he might already be at the Court of Desolation as we speak. I don't want to suspect him, but I also don't know him very well. Maybe Sino will know what to do. Alright, we'll give these to Sino and see. Let's go! Well, Sino, what do you make of it? <sighs> Tosh. It's been a while since I last saw him. From what I remember, he is a straight-laced man. Although he would resort to extreme measures from time to time, he would never do anything against his beliefs. So do you think he's the one behind all this? I'm still not sure. I cannot imagine how devastating the incident with Mortada was for him. Nor can I deny the possibility that people can change. Whether it's out of love for his son or for other reasons, 
We have to see for ourselves to judge him. Or rather, the person he's become. That's right. It's clear that he had a hand in this case, yet he made no report of it. There's no doubting that. That's also why I need to see him. I must ask his reasoning and judge him myself. Time is ticking. Let's go. So this is the Court of Desolation. Are there really any treasures buried here? Oh, my mom's kind of nervous. Could it be dangerous? Don't worry. You'll be safe. Emerge. Right now. Emerge. Scatter! Dance with the wind! Yeah. Right now. Emerge. Nothing lasts forever. Ah, Sino. It's been some time since I've seen you last. I trust you are doing well. Seeing that you've made it all the way here, you must be on the cusp of wrapping up your investigation, I presume. Hmm. <laughs> Even faster than I expected. Is it because you have some new partners now? That's right. This case is nearly closed. But the most important answer still eludes me. Was it all your doing? Smuggling the can to knowledge? The research of the Court of Desolation? <sighs> yes. It was me. Then explain why. That's the difficult part. Let's just say I've changed. I've become a selfish coward who only wants to pursue his own interests. I find that hard to believe. Oh, really? Way I see it, every person will end up like me sooner or later. When you're young, you press forward, unattached, living solely for the justice in your heart. But as you begin to age, you start to become more cautious. You know many things are wrong, but still turn a blind eye to them. I was the same. I never questioned my actions until Murtada died. I could feel the justice that I once strived to uphold slowly crumbling in my heart. I was completely dedicated to all that I did, but as I grew older, I found myself feeling alone, miserable. Can you imagine what it feels like to not have the will to live, but not be able to die? <sighs> Murtada was sent to prison by my own hands. I set myself on this painful path. My son hated me till the day he died, and now I must live with that pain and regret. I failed him as a father. But now, 
Now I have a chance to make it right. A chance to reunite with him. The Court of Desolation. Here lies the key to overcoming life and death. The power to even bring the dead back to life. So, did you already find what you needed here? <laughs> See this door behind me? Behind it lies the treasures that I seek. I'm so close, Sino. If only you hadn't arrived now, I could already have... Enough conjecture. What has happened is already part of the past. You cannot bring the dead back to life. In the end, the treasures you seek are nothing but myths and legend. Since you're so sure, why don't you just let me open the door and see them? No. I sense danger behind that door. There will be dire consequences the moment you open it. I beg you, as an old partner, can you let me fulfill my last wish just this once? Surely you get it by now. Doing your job without mercy will only drive people away from you. I'm the prime example. I don't overthink things. If there is only one way for me to defend my principles, then that is the path I will take. Seems there's no convincing you. All right, then. Let's see if your polearm skills have improved at all. Your strength. You feel it, don't you? I'm stronger than you remember. I gained new power when I entered the Court of Desolation. This is only a taste of it. Once I open the door behind me, this power will be complete. Even life and death will have no grip on me. Uh-oh. We have to stop this guy! I won't let you open that door. I wouldn't be so sure. I'm afraid it won't be easy to stop me now that you're injured. Or are you ready to sacrifice your life for this? I'll do what I have to. <laughs> I still remember when we first became partners. You were always charging forward and putting your life on the line, just like now. Even after all this time, you still haven't changed. You haven't changed either. You left that list of names and map in your house on purpose, didn't you? You wanted me to be able to find you here. All of this... It was just part of the act you were putting on. What happened just now was also part of your plan. You might have fooled those on the list. But... You will not fool me. I had my suspicions from the beginning. But I couldn't be sure until we fought. If he really had changed... Your fighting style wouldn't be as it was before. Huh? What do you mean, Sino? He never planned on opening the door. His true intention was... Uh, what's happening? Seems our time is running short. Let me make this quick then. After Mortada died, my spirit was crushed. For a long time, I was hoping this reality was just some terrible nightmare. I hoped I would just wake up and be able to see his smiling face again. That is when I was approached by someone who wished to collaborate and find the Court of Desolation together. I did some investigation of my own and discovered they were part of a massive organization. People from every walk of life are involved. They are relentless in their search, pouring countless mora into secret research, even sacrificing lives in hopes that the Court of Desolation would appear. No wonder banning the research wasn't enough. A full-scale operation was already in motion. 
I'm a flesh and blood human like anyone else, so I obviously hesitated and considered it. The thought of bringing my son back tugged at my heart, but in the end, <laughs> I came to my senses. I knew that I could not let myself go down that path. I suddenly came to a realization amidst my suffering, the Court of Desolation. A place that once drove people to tragedy was still doing so, even centuries later. As long as this place exists, people will recklessly seek it out, just as Mortada did, generation after generation, regardless of the cost. Let it be buried beneath the sand forever. Once the Court of Desolation is gone, there will no longer be anyone obsessed with seeking it out. That's right. I acted as if I had abandoned my convictions just so that they would cooperate without raising any suspicion. This was the only way I could find and destroy this place. But that wasn't enough. I needed someone I could trust to bring the organization to justice. The Academia forbids the research of the Court of Desolation, so they would never approve my plan in the first place. To add to the problem, the organization is so powerful that they even have members working within the Academia. If I wished to destroy the organization, I couldn't just count on the Academia alone. So, you pretended to be the one behind all this as a test for me. <sighs> yes. I'm sorry, but now I am assured. You haven't changed at all. You are still as you always were, fearless and making no compromise. Anyway, this place is collapsing. You must leave now. Wait! Aren't you leaving too? There are still loads of bad guys to catch outside! His fate is already sealed. There is no life left inside him. He is like a candle with no more wick to burn. He planned it all from the very beginning, didn't you? Risking being treated as a traitor to collaborate with them. Sacrificing your own life to open and destroy the Court of Desolation. Hmm. Regardless, I made a grave mistake by allowing the smuggling and the research of this place. Let this be the final judgment on myself. I was always so busy with work that I never made time to fulfill Mortada's wishes. <sighs> Finding this place was his biggest wish. Since I'll be reuniting with him here, I can only hope he won't have anything more to hold against me. I'll leave all those people on the list to you. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused. There's nothing to be sorry for. We are partners. If you see Mortada, send him my greetings. Goodbye, old friend. Dad, why are they so strict with me? I'm always the only one who gets in trouble. Just leave me alone! Don't worry, I won't damage your precious reputation. All right, Dad. Let's start over. By the way, I finally found an area of research I wish to pursue. Why can't you show even a little leniency? Why? Because we are Matra. Just as Taj said, that place had caused too many disasters and tragedies. Being buried in quicksand is its rightful end. To them, as long as there's Mora to be made, they will disregard the Academia's rules, whether it's the Court of Desolation or anything else. Their only goal is to make massive profits off of dangerous research. 
Taj may have set them back with the Court of Desolation. But... It won't be long before they continue searching for another target. That's an opportunity that I will not let them have. We'll help too. Thank you. But you've already done enough. Just leave the rest to me. I will bring them to justice myself. Besides, I promised you that I would sweep away any potential danger. So, that's what I'm going to do. Wait for me a Caravan Rebob four days from now. We meet again. Thank you so much for all your help. Nibiru, what are you doing here? Convicts from the desert are being escorted through Caravan Rebot, so I'm here to keep an eye on things. This should be the last group of them, so I'll be heading back to the Academia once they're cleared. The last few days have been quite the ride, but fortunately, I can say with confidence that this case is finally coming to an end. At first, the mercenary groups on the list were putting up quite a fight, they made several desperate attempts to cover up the truth. However, word is that someone crossed the desert and took out their main camp overnight. After that, people on the list started to put pressure on the higher-ups within the Academia. Everyone was on edge, and the case came to a standstill. And? Then what happened? Well, then we received word that Taj Rudkani had sacrificed himself on the case. The news really stirred up the members of our ranks. The Matra then moved together against the enemy. We cleared out the traitors from within the Academia, and arrested all the researchers on the list. Some of them managed to get out of the Academia, but still failed to escape. The scattered criminals were captured all across Sumeru by the mysterious person who had defeated the mercenary groups. I even heard that someone was about to escape to Fontaine, but was still apprehended just at the border. Having more than 300 prisoners apprehended for interrogation has definitely shaken things up recently. So that's the end of it! Catching everyone on the list means no more smuggling can knowledge and no more victims! Oh, it was a lot of work, but Paimon thinks we accomplished something big! That's right. Thanks again for your assistance. As for the mysterious person who hit the mercenary camp, that must be Sino, right? He's the only one I can think of who could accomplish such a feat. Speaking of which, have you been in touch with Sino these days? I think I just saw him when I was on watch nearby. He was walking with someone I didn't recognize, and then before I knew it, they were nowhere to be seen. If you happen to see him, please send my regards. Sure thing, Nibiel. You be careful too. Don't let any of those bad guys escape. Don't worry about me. If anything happens, you can find me at the Academia anytime. Farewell, then. Huh? Trying to single-handedly bring 300 people to justice must feel pretty exhilarating. But I can assure you this is certainly not the best solution. I'm aware. However, I learned something unexpected during interrogation. Apparently, someone had enticed Mortada Radkani into becoming interested in researching the Court of Desolation. Mortada had lived in his father's shadow all his life. Naturally, he wanted to conduct research that would seem groundbreaking and significant. After Mortada died, the organization tried to use Taja's shame regarding his son to add him to their ranks, toying with others' minds treating lives like dirt, and doing anything for their own interests. <sighs> this makes me angry. Fine, I understand. This is a type of trap I've been working on which uses plants. Here, take some just in case you need them next time. If thrown into the mud, the trap will grow rapidly and disperse a pollen that has a paralyzing effect. I don't have much use for the traps these days, but maybe you will and can help me collect more testing data. Sino! Tainari! Oh, so Tainari must be who Nabil saw earlier! Are you also here to see Sino? That's right. Sino asked me to collect some medicinal herbs to treat a girl named Simi. 
I also drop by just to check for any injuries. He seems to be fine physically, but he looks a little more lonely than I remember. And Sino, relax. You don't always have to look so serious, you know. Why don't you play more Genius Invocation TCG? Kale has always been a little wary of you, and your stern expression certainly isn't helping. How is Kale these days? She's grown a bit taller, but her grades could use some improvement. She still made many mistakes on her last test, even after I had marked all the important content in the book for her. Her condition seems to be improving lately, so I plan on having her go outside more. It just so happens that I have something she can help me with. Huh? You mean Kale is leaving a video forest? What happened? I've asked her to host some ad hoc lectures to teach the dangers of canned knowledge as well as how to use it safely. Although we've apprehended all the criminals behind the recent smuggling case, there are many people who are still curious and seek after canned knowledge. So I decided to ask her to work on increasing knowledge and awareness on the topic. Please be sure to keep an eye on her. I will. If anything else happens, the three of you can find me in the Avidya Forest. Take care. I've already caught those who were preparing to attack you in secret. Even if some criminals did slip through our fingers, they wouldn't know that you were involved in the case. So you can relax. But what about you, Sino? It's still not time for me to rest yet. Those who died have fulfilled their wishes, but those who are alive must continue pressing forward. I've been thinking about what Taj said in the Court of Desolation these last few days. His words were not empty. People do change. And no belief can completely resist the erosion of time. I just hope my own change will come slowly, so that I can press on a little further. That way, those who see me as their superior, and those who are following in my footsteps, will learn courage from my example, just as I gained courage from my own superiors and my partner. I'll be fine. I'm also enjoying my chat with you right now, you know. There are many things I feel better about once I start to talk about them. Many people want to go to the desert to offer condolences for Taj, but I didn't share details with anyone. I'd prefer to avoid revealing the location of the Court of Desolation. One day, I'll gather some flowers that grow in arid desert conditions. And then, I was hoping you'd join me in planting them on the remains of the Court of Desolation. By the way, something strange happened a few days ago. A merchant approached me and requested that I cover the cost of a desert travel kit. 1,250,000 mora. I didn't remember owing anyone mora, especially not that kind of amount. So I arrested the merchant on charges of provocation and disturbing the peace. Do you know anything about this?